watch. If you are lucky enough to grow up around or playing sports, then you know the impact a good coach can have on someone's life. Heck, I still remember the names and sayings of all my coaches. Many of them I'm still close with to this day. I want to introduce you to Mike Thompson. He is one of those coaches here in the Valley. I never met him, but I sure wish I would have played for him. And boy, did he have an impact on those around him. What inspires someone to write a letter to somebody they don't know? That had the Cardinals logo up in the upper left-hand corner. Carrie Thompson found out that answer when she opened her mailbox one Saturday afternoon in May. I sat in my car in front of my mailbox and cried. It was really heartfelt. It was, it was awesome. Awesome people leave lasting impacts. Carrie's husband and best friend, Mike Thompson, did just that. Both my boys um, would comment on how their dad is their hero. <laughs> Chances are you've seen Mike on the sidelines somewhere in the Valley, coaching the Monsoon Ute football team in Gilbert or being an assistant coach out of Desert Ridge High School. Mike's number one rule was uh, never coach with anybody unless I found out who they were. He coached my son, he's Alex's favorite coach to this day because he treated him like a man and uh, taught him what integrity is and uh, what you're doing when nobody's looking is what matters the most. What started out as coaching his kid's soccer team turned into 18 years of coaching everybody's kid. His work day was boom, he would get that stuff done. But when he took lunch, he'd be on the phone with me <laughs> or maybe Jeremy yeah. talking about this is what we're going to do or this is what I'd like to do or what are we going to do. But Mike was much more than just a coach. He was a second dad to many. In the off season, I mean, he was at baseball games, basketball games, wrestling tournaments watching our players, our football players, do other things. The 51-year-old never slowed down. In fact, he always wanted to do more until May 8th, 2018. I keep saying, yeah, he's going to walk through that door and he's going to tell me how football camp was because it's still not real. Coach Thompson calling in sick for the first time in his career. The next day, he was rushed to the hospital. He actually flatlined a total of three times. And I know the reason that he was able to come back after they got him revived was um, because it, not all of his kids were there. Mike was diagnosed with sepsis, a bacterial infection. His organs began shutting down. I went in and I held his hand, talked to him, and that's where I was a coach. I said, you've got to fight and you've got to fight hard, baby. That's when my youngest, our youngest, Bubba, who's 22, showed up in the hospital just the last time. And he went over and held his dad's hand and told him he loved him. And then that, then the pulse was no longer there. By the morning of May 10th, Mike was gone. Not a lot of people know what they're good at, um, but I knew what Mike was good at and what his gift from God was. If every action we take impacts the lives of others around us, then Coach Thompson's actions speak volumes. Hundreds of former and current players showed up to celebrate his life. Seeing the mass of 24-year-olds to 12-year-olds there, I've never seen anything like that in my life. I've got parents of players coming and wanting to do like my yard work for me. And I said, oh, you don't have to do that. And they said, no, I want to do it for him because of what he did for my son. Mike's life even touched those who didn't know him, like Cardinals head coach Steve Wilkes, who wrote this letter to the Thompson family after reading about Mike's passing. Being a product of um, a single parent home, you know, my mom worked all the time uh, at the post office. Um, and it, if it wasn't for my Pop Warner coaches, to be quite honest, I don't know if I'd be here today. I know the kind of impact, you know, those coaches have, and I know um, he has done the same. He lives on through the countless individuals that have been positively impacted by Mike. With sympathy, Steve Wilkes, head coach, Arizona Cardinals. I felt inclined to reach out. It was just on my heart. When you see the love pour out like that, it's obvious that uh, uh, coach was able to see that love and say, okay, here's a good guy. What inspires someone to write a letter to somebody they don't know when you live life the way Mike Thompson did? It would be so easy for me just to say, I'm done. I don't even want to get up in the mornings. I'm, I'm so hurt because he's my best friend and my husband and my partner, my soulmate. But that's not what he would want. You know, he wants me to get up in the morning and still do everything I do in the mornings and get ready to work and give my work everything I can and be true to my friends. I want him to be proud of us and my kids want him to be proud of them. Love. It's a perfect way to sum up Mike. 
You know, Kerry's next mission is to tell head coach Steve Wilkes, thank you in person. Uh, believe it or not, some are already asking who's going to replace Mike on the sidelines this upcoming season for Desert Ridge and the Monsoon. Coach Hathcock and Coach Smith say that's just Mike talking from talking to them from up above, saying get back to work, guys. You got games to win.